Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade your T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy S5 from 5.1.1 back to 5.0. So you're only going to be needing two files. The first file that you're going to be needing it is called Odin and the next file will be the Android 5.0. As you can see here, I already downloaded those files in advance. So after you're done downloading and all the link will be provided down below in the description um, you're gonna right click and extract it to your desktop so you can see here have the new folder and then you're also gonna extract the Android 5.0 There you go, it is done. My new file it is right here. So now you're gonna open the folder that is called Odin, and then you're gonna click where it says Odin 3 version 3.10.6. You're gonna right click it and click where it says run as administrator. And then when you get this pop-up, you're gonna click yes. And right now at this moment you can see here on my device that I'm running Android 5.1.1 and now we're going to be downgrading it to 5.0 and the only reason that I'm doing this is because the MHL is not working uh, with Android 5.1.1 so the next thing that we have to do is put your Samsung Galaxy S5 into download mode so in order for us to do this you have to first turn off your device and now that the device is off you're gonna press and hold the volume down key the home button and the power button all at the same time and now as you can see here we got uh, a screen that says warning a custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and install applications. If you want to download a custom OS, press the volume up key, otherwise press the volume down key to cancel. So we're going to be pressing the volume up key to continue. And as you can see here, it says downloading. Do not turn off target. So now that the device it is on download mode, you're going to connect it to the computer by the micro USB cable. There you go, it is connected. And as you can see here in Odin, now we have a blue box uh, with a number that says COM9. Now, after this is done, you're gonna go to options and make sure that the one that is named repartition is not click. You have to make sure that one does not have a click or a check. So now go back to log and you're gonna be clicking on AP and you're gonna search for your Android 5.0 that I have it on my desktop and as you can see it is right here and then you're gonna tap open click open and now Odin is gonna start loading everything so give it a moment okay now as you can see here next to where it says AP you will see a long uh, directory so that, so that means it is ready to go so now that everything is ready you're gonna click where it says start and do not touch anything else and as you can see now on the Samsung Galaxy S5 we have a progress bar that is filling in and now let's wait uh, for the program to finish downgrading the Samsung Galaxy S5 back to Android 5.0 Okay guys, as you can see, it just finished and the Samsung Galaxy S5, it is rebooting. As you can see in, in the program, it says it passed. So now you can unplug 
your Samsung Galaxy S5 from your PC and wait for it to finish booting. Okay guys, as you can see now it is upgrading and optimizing the apps. Okay guys, as you can see it just finished and as you notice we already started getting some errors saying unfortunately NFC service has stopped. So when you tap on OK, you're going to get another notification coming up that says unfortunately the process has stopped and as you're going to see it's going to reboot again. So you're going to wait for that to come back up again. It's going to repeat the process. Okay guys, as you can see it just finished. Now it is starting up. So now as you can see we have uh, some errors. So in order to fix this, we have to do a factory reset. So in order to do this, turn off your device. So the only way that we can do this is by removing the battery. There you go. So now insert the battery again. So now we're going to press and hold the volume up key, the home button, and the power button all at the same time. There you go. Now as you can see, it says recovering boot on the top. And this is the menu that you need to get. So now you're gonna use the volume key uh, to move around the menu. So you're gonna down to where it says uh, Y cage partition, and you're gonna press the power button to select that option. And as you can see, you already wipe it. The next thing that you need to do is go to where it says wipe data factory reset and using the power button to select it and then go all the way to where it says yes delete all user data and the power button to select and as you can see it is formatting the device so now it is done so now you're gonna press the power button again to reboot the system now and as you can see now it is rebooting Okay guys, now uh, you can see the device is back up again and there's no more errors. So now I'm going to skip through the setup process and show you that I'm running an Android 5.0 Lollipop. Right now let's go to settings. I'm going to change this to tab view. Then we're going to go to general. Scroll all the way down about device and as you can see I'm running Android version 5.0 Lollipop so we have successfully downgraded the Samsung Galaxy S5 from Android 5.1.1 back to 5.0 so this is it guys thank you for watching my video if you like my video please click the like button you can subscribe to my channel so you can get my content if you have any question please leave it down below thank you for watching my video bye bye